Hey, Ivan from the EV Stock Channel here with an update on Tesla China, production and sales data. But before we begin, thank you to all the Patreons that support the channel. And as always, all content is my opinion only and not financial advice. Now, let's get straight into it. In October, Tesla hit a new production record at the Shanghai Gigafactory, producing 32,000 Model 3s and 55,500 Model Ys for a total of 87,706 vehicles. If we multiply this number by 3, it gives us a quarterly run rate of 263,000 vehicles produced per quarter, or just over a million vehicles per year at an annualized run rate. I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that Tesla are hitting new production records in China following the plan upgrade back in July and August. And keep in mind, we don't know how the holidays at the start of October affected production. And here's something else to think about. Now that Tesla have four factories, if any of these factories find a way to eliminate a process or a part that knowledge will be passed on to the other factories. So the more factories that Tesla have, the faster that Tesla should be able to innovate and further increase production. Next up, here are China's EV sales throughout January to October, where we can see that Tesla and BYD are dominating the market. Yes, the Hongguang Mini leads in total sales, but keep in mind, this is a $5,000 vehicle. While the BYD Song Plus and Quinn Plus, the numbers are a combination of their battery electric vehicles and their plug-in hybrids. So if we look at pure EVs, the Tesla Model Y would most likely take second spot and number one in revenue in China. And finally, there's been a lot of talk regarding how much demand there is for Tesla in China. And in my opinion, I don't have any concerns regarding demand. Yes, wait times will fluctuate and some people will hold off from buying a vehicle if there are expected price changes, especially around lowering prices to make Teslas qualify for subsidies. We saw this play out a few weeks ago, with Tesla dropping prices in China, and Tesla can drop prices even further if needed, and still be highly profitable. And remember, Elon has stated multiple times, he would rather sell more vehicles at lower margins than less vehicles at higher margins. So in summary, Tesla production in China is hitting new records and don't assume for a second that Tesla is done optimizing the factory. And I can't wait to see if Tesla can get over the 90,000 vehicle produced mark in the coming months. Anyways, stay tuned for more episodes. I'll soon be releasing the next episode of the Tesla documentary series, which will be released soon. So till then, have a great day.